So today's event is a demo style showcasing the latest marketing tools for nonprofits. Next up, we have Matthew Montoya, Senior Channel, Channel Marketing and Enablement Manager at Cost, Constant Contact. In this role, Matthew has helped over 14,000 small businesses and nonprofits better understand how digital marketing can affect growth and what utilizing best practices can mean to the bottom line. In his 21 years in marketing, he's worked on nearly every kind of marketing vehicle around from print, broadcast, social, web, and of course, email marketing. He's seen and had a role in it all. Preceding his time at Constant Contact, Matthew worked at a 501c3 nonprofit wearing multiple hats, including marketing, to help a nonprofit grow exponentially year over year. So today we're going to see how we can grow your nonprofit with Constant Contact's time-saving marketing tools. To save time and grow your nonprofit's presence with Constant Contact's digital marketing tool accessible from your office, uh, whether that be your home office or on the go. And during this presentation, we'll demonstrate how easy and quick it is to personalize and automate your communications to remain top of mind, increase donations, and encourage volunteer engagement. Thanks for joining us today, Matthew. Well, thank you. In that introduction, we talked about how Constant Contact has been in business, or we've been in business for 26 years. I've been doing this for Constant Contact for 12 years. And there's a few things we've learned about nonprofits. It may not be all of you, but I have a feeling it's most of you. We know that nonprofits are often... Uh, working with a small staff. They're often overworked because they have a small staff. And because of that, every second saved is valuable. So how do I know that about nonprofits? Because I've been there. I have lived your life. I have worn multiple hats. When I worked at that nonprofit, we were a staff of two. I was often working well after five and on the weekends, doing everything from handling reception to doing marketing and more. So I know what it's like to live in your world. And hopefully the tips I'm going to share with you today will save you some time and make you more efficient. So here's the three things we're going to talk about, but I want to briefly stop on this slide and talk about everything you see here, because this is all that Constant Contact has to offer. We've been in business for 26 years. We invented the email marketing space, but there's a bit of a challenge there because email marketing is mostly all people know about us. But because we have limited time, we're going to talk about email, ironically. We're going to talk about uh, social and how you can share your email easily to social, saving you time. And we'll talk about email automation. So firstly, we have a small staff. I should be treating my donors, potential donors, vendors, members, volunteers with different information, but I'm all by myself. How can I do it? Well, there's a couple of different forms of automation. And Jeremy gave me a fantastic tee up. We adore Donor Perfect and Donor Perfect customers. He gave me a perfect tee up because, you know, Donor Perfect is really great at segmenting data. And then you can take that data and segment it even further because when people take action in your email, they're telling you something. They're telling you what you're, they're interested in. They're telling you what their passions are. Because they're taking action in your email, every single time that they click an email, click on a link in an email, they're telling you something about it. So this particular feature, when you're building an email in Constant Contact and you're linking it to a page, you have the ability to toggle on that click segmentation feature. And what that does is it allows anybody who clicks on a link to be segmented automatically into a new or existing list. The benefit there is for follow-up. You can actually have that group of people based on the subject matter they clicked on grouped together so that you can do follow-up uh, about that particular subject matter. But let's take it a step further and let's talk about uh, some advanced segmentation. So with our segmentation functionality, you can take a couple of different forms of data, carve them up and have a uh, living list. So the, basically what you do is when you go into our segmentation tool, you first decide, okay, what is it I want to segment? In case you're unfamiliar with this whole segmentation idea, it's basically just taking groups of people and breaking them down into smaller, more finite groups. Because I'm often asked, uh, because I've been doing this so long, what's the number one tip you'd share, Matt? And I'll say, well, when it comes to email marketing, it's relevancy. You want to make sure that your email marketing is as relevant as possible. And this is the way you do that. So in this example, maybe I'm going to choose First, the contact activity. I want to see, are these people regularly opening or clicking on links in my email? Or maybe I want to look at uh, people that haven't regularly opened or clicked on links in my email. Second is maybe I want to drill down and I want to look at a particular zip code. I want to look at a particular uh, contact detail, like uh, their, their job title or the city they live in. And lastly, maybe I want to look on a specific list and pull that together. And so, as I said, this is like a living list because most people, if they use constant contact, they're used to sending to lists. But with segments, because you're pulling in this data, as that data comes in, as somebody meets the thresholds you built, you can send to segments. And thanks to uh, integrations and partners like DonorPerfect, as data comes in from that, that API that he mentioned, 
that data can be carved up live for you. So they're meeting the criteria that you preset. I'm starved for time. I know how important it is to foster relationships, but I wear too many hats. Well, next we're going to talk about our social functionality. So this is often overlooked in constant contact. And what this will allow you to do is share your email either automatically or tailor it through our social media suite to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. First, you just sync up your accounts. Second, you put in your message and the link for your email is already generated there. Third, you decide whether you want to use the imagery from your email or you want to choose a different image. Next, you're going to decide, okay, do I want to have variations across different social media platforms? And then I either decide to send this social media post now or schedule it up to a year in advance. I know the time is money. I have a small staff. What can I do? Automation. So the real power is to take that segment, that segmented list that I talked about earlier, and tie it into automation or take behavior based in your emails uh, of what people are clicking on or doing and automatically send a, an email follow-up or a series of email. We have three different kinds of automation. Uh, welcome emails when somebody joins a list, date-triggered automation, and then behavioral automation when somebody takes an action. So to set up, I'm using click segment or click automation. So in this example, first I'm deciding, hey, when somebody clicks on a specific link in an email, I want to send number two. So that's number two. I want to send this email. Then I'm going to decide how long I want to delay the next email. Then I choose another email and I continue until I have a complete series built. Do you have to send a lot of emails? No, you can just send one, but this is a fantastic way to save you time. Now, I'm going to give you a sneak peek in the future really quickly. Our automation suite is about to be uh, incredibly grown up. So we are going to be moving into journey-based automation. You're seeing an example of this. You're one of the very first to see this. This is rolling out next month. And in this example, I actually have a variety of different things. So I'm choosing the trigger, uh, uh, what I want the email to trigger off to. Then I'm choosing a path. Do they have SMS? Yes. Well, then I'm going to send them a text. Don't they have SMS? Well, maybe I'm going to, uh, or don't they employ SMS? Well, no, I'm going to send them an email. I look forward to uh, doing some more education around this really soon. And as was mentioned, we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of fantastic tools to help you, tools you're likely already using. And I want to call out DonorPerfect because, again, they are a fantastic partner. And the integration between DonorPerfect and Constant Contact is fantastic. So just like earlier, Scan the QR code. We'll be sharing all this information if you want more information about how to get started. Now, today through Friday, we're involved in the New Year promotion, and our tech in the TechSoup admin fee has been reduced 60%, which is only $22 now to access. And on top of that, Constant Contact is going to throw 50% discount on Constant Contact for you for the lifetime of your Constant, Con Constant Contact subscription. Thank you. <laughs>